Hey guys, just wanted to show you the welding cart I built. It is three levels right now, and the middle level is the one that's holding the Hobart 210 MVP, which I used to actually build the cart. Uh, the bottom level is holding my chop saw right now, but at some point I want to get a TIG machine. I built it with the Hobart in mind, but it can also probably fit the AHP, which I'm looking at right now. So either one of those will work. Um, I'll probably get that machine later on when I can actually afford it. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the card itself. So I built this with, um, you know, I wanted two gas bottles on there, so I always knew that. I wanted to keep a argon CO2 mix here and the straight argon here. So anytime I'm doing aluminum welding, the argon gets used, and then obviously first steel and pretty much everything else, the argon CO2 mix is what I use. So I went ahead and um, welded on some square tubing pieces for the chain to go through, as you can see here. And then took that through and welded another piece on this center bracket here that I built uh, to pass the chain through, <clears throat> and that's what keeps it secure. Uh, the padlock isn't for any real security reasons, just I needed a way to lock up the bottles, and uh, I had one lying around, so I just decided to use that. Uh, one other thing is this bar that grows across. It's bolted down and I can remove it anytime I need to change out the gas bottles. So it also adds a lot more stability when the bottles are, when I'm moving the cart around. I um, also added some of these little, I don't know if you can see that, these little furniture bumpers. Uh, anywhere the bottle touches the metal frame, uh, I put those around there. They only cost like $2 from Home Depot or Ace or wherever you can get them. And it, if I need to replace them when I'm changing out the bottles, so be it. It's a cheap little piece of insurance to make sure the bottles don't rub against the frame. And that way I didn't have to come up with anything. I didn't have to come up with something else to hold the bottles in place. Uh, let me just go ahead and shake these. As you can see, the bottles are pretty rigid in here. The whole cart will move before they'll um, fall out. So let's see, the top layer is basically where I'm just storing my gloves right now. Um, at some point I might put a plasma cutter up there or a small, another small welder or whatever else I can think of. But for right now, my gloves are staying there. Um, added these cable holders on the sides. Uh, they're basically just built out of, let me see if I can get a shot here, which is a round tube that I welded onto two separate plates here and then welded them on welded them onto the frame. Let's see what else. Oh, so the actual, let me move the gloves out of the way. So this frame, this um, plate right here, they're actually removable if I want. What I did was I built them out of three pieces of plate and welded little um, cross members on there and then went ahead and just, they drop into place. So they're actually pretty heavy. Um, they won't move around and the good thing about them is um, if I need to replace them, I can. So the front was built with the 210 in mind. Um, I had the welder before I had the cart, obviously, so I built everything around this, just knowing that the welder itself weighs around 80 pounds and I was tired of <laughs> lugging that in and out of, um, you know, in and out from the shop to wherever I needed it to be. So I decided, okay, the cart was something I needed. Um, obviously, you got these little holders on the front. Uh, some more down here in case whenever I get my TIG machine. And then I decided also to get rolling casters on all four, um, four legs. And the reason for that is I just wanted to be able to move the cart, you know, left, right, front, and back. Instead of with the stationary wheels, you can only, you'd have to kind of turn it. So let me see if I can actually move this. So I'm moving it with one hand right now, obviously, and pulling it back and forth. Let's see if I can turn it. As you see, it moves pretty easily. Um, that's one hand, it's loaded down with you know, an 80 pound welder, two full gas tanks, and a chop saw, and a pair of gloves. So, um, obviously it can handle some weight and it moves fairly easily. So one other thing I added on here was this little pullout drawer. So let me go ahead and take a shot of that. So, as you can see, it kind of adds a little bit more storage in here. Uh, it was something I saw online that someone, a few guys have actually done, and I thought, why not? So in here you can see I've got a bunch of the, you know, TIG cups and um, tungsten, my 
mask, um, some make some gloves, you know, filler wire, all the other stuff. Uh, just miscellaneous stuff that I didn't want to keep all over the uh, garage. So I went ahead and put them into this little drawer that slides in and out. I made the drawer a little bit longer just so I would have a lip to drag on. Uh, if I had to do it over again, I'm not sure if I would have done it that way. I think I'm probably going to uh, weld on a piece of 45 here so, so it, has a, it closes the gap. I wasn't thinking about it, but I guess sparks could technically go in here, so maybe I'll add another plate on top of here to cover this, or I'll come up with something. But right now it gives me a little handle to be able to pull in and out as needed. Let's see, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, it took me a couple of weekends to build this, and then, you know, oh, one thing with the drawer. I had actually initially made this actually too, too long, so, I'm um, not a carpenter, I have no idea how drawers go, go together, so I went ahead and measured it about a half inch too long, thinking that that would work and it would squeeze in. It did not. So, needless to say, I took out the angle grinder and got to work and um, re-welded it back. So, uh, this one's made out of aluminum, so it's a lot lighter than the steel I was planning to use. But, as you can see, this is the entire cart. Let me go ahead and take a shot with the drawer fully out again. So there she is. Um, as I said, it took me a couple weekends. Forgot how much steel I actually used for this, but it's all one and a half inch steel on the on the top pieces, and then this is just straight one inch bar stock. Um, so it's pretty heavy. Obviously, I went ahead and did a little bit of artistic design here with this kind of beveled edge, or whatever you want to call it. But. That's about it for right now. So just wanted to show you the cart. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll gladly give you any help I can. All right guys, have a good one.